Hello everyone, Brewmaster here with another great ale review. Um, this one is uh, strays, it, this review will stray from my normal path. I try to stick with craft brews, um, but someone gave me this one, so I decided to go ahead and make a review of it while I had one. This is Yingling Porter. Uh, this is from America's oldest brewery. Um, started in 1829. Uh, this stuff comes in at 4.7 ABV and is brewed in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Um, I don't know how it's going to be. If I like it, I may try some more. Um, but like I said, I got this one given to me. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a review of it. Uh, it says, America's oldest brewery since 1829, Yinling Dark Brewed Porter. Brewed expressly for tavern and family trade. Let's go ahead and get a uh, pour of this one see what it looks like. Of the smoke. I'm sure you guys can't see it on my crappy setup, but let's see what it looks like here. Or a fairly aggressive pour. Well, it is fairly black. Um, actually, it's, I don't know, I guess I couldn't say it's black. It's a really, really dark, dark brown with amber all around the edges. It's got about a solid one finger, uh, tan head, looks nice and creamy. Um, we'll see how the head retains, or how it stays. Um, let's go ahead and give this a nose, see what it smells like. Um, I get a slight bit of the chocolate kind of a smell, just a slight amount, um, a tiny bit smoky maybe, uh, just a tad more um, roasted malt, maybe a tiny bit of caramel, that's about all I'm getting from that one, a little bitter maybe, it smells a little bitter, let's go ahead and get a taste, see what it tastes like. Cheers. Well, um, a little more comes through flavor-wise. It's got a little more malt flavor, a little more smokiness. I don't really get any of the caramel that I smelled. Um, that's mainly what I get. I get a smoky malt flavor. Both are fairly light. It's not a super uh, complex porter. Fairly straightforward. Smoky malt. Um, it's got a light to medium mouthfeel, but even light on the light on the medium side. Um, there's not much of a not much of a malt flavor really, just a little, a little bit of smokiness. Um, I get a little tiny bit of that bitter that I smell, but it, it's not really bitter either. It goes down pretty smooth. Um, for what this is, and for how cheap you can actually get it, it it's, it's not too bad. Um, I would probably have to give it a 5.5 or a 6 out of 10. I mean, it's definitely decent. I've drank a lot worse stuff in my life. Um, got a fair amount of lacing there. Seems to stay, stick pretty well. You get that creamy, uh, frothy ring around the, the cup that stays, but the head's pretty much receded down to nothing. Didn't stay very long. Uh, like I said, it's it's not completely black. It's uh, got kind of got some amber or burgundy, deep burgundy kind of a. Uh, color that goes through. I wish I could let you see it, but you can't really. Um, all in all, it's uh, a little better than what I expected it would probably be. It's not too bad. So if you can't find a craft brew and you're looking for something that's decent, store-bought, regular stuff, Gidling Porter would probably be a good choice.
Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave some in the box below. Please like the video and subscribe to my channels. This is Brewmaster. I'll see you guys later.